Hello, good morning, and thank you for joining our daily market outlook from Windsor Broker for today, the 8th of August, 2012. Uh, we have many news today on our economic calendar. First of all, at 12.30, we have uh, some statements coming out from the Bank of England. The first one will be a speech uh, from the head of the bank. And also, at the same time, we will have an inflation report, so we might see some moves on the sterling at that time. Uh, after that, after that, in half an hour, we have some uh, news regarding the euro, the euro and its uh, German industrial production. But we can see that the expectation is almost near zero. We need to see a reading uh, much higher or below that level for the market uh, to be able to react to such news. We also have another central bank uh, giving a speech, and that's from the Bank of Canada at 1.20. And we can also see that during the day we have bond auctions, both from Germany and the United States. Uh, the one from Germany will take all day, and the one from the United States will start at 8 p.m. And finally, of course, we have crude oil inventories at 5.30. So let's take a look at how the markets moved since yesterday. We see that the euro had another failed attempt to break the 24.40. Uh, resistance level, of course, 2440 is the highest level in the current uptrend. Uh, we saw three attempts. The first attempt was on the 6th of August. The second attempt was uh, also on the same day. And the third attempt was during yesterday's session. And now, currently, it's at a support level of 2365, which is also the pivot point for today. So it's at a level which, if it falls under or above, uh, will direct its uh, will determine its direction. Of course, if it goes back up from this level, it means it found support at the pivot point, and we're going to say it's going to go for a fourth attempt to try to break the 2440. If it happens to break that level, then the next uh, target for the buying positions will be at 1.25. However, if it does manage to break that level, we have the first, uh, the first target of the selling positions after that would be 23.25 and after that 22.90. So the uptrend appears to have uh, some difficulty. If we notice that the momentum indicators currently are going from both positions to selling, uh, from a buying indication to a selling indication. Uh, regarding the sterling against the dollar, we don't see any major movements since yesterday. We, need an, we see another failed attempt to break the 56.65. We can see a previous attempt uh, on the 6th of August, the beginning of this week, also on the 2nd of August. So this is the third attempt to break the resistance, and it failed. According to the website report, the pivot point will be at around 56, uh, 55.95, so it's at the same level as yesterday. Currently, the prices are close to that level, so it's not really clear uh, which direction the market is going to take. If it falls, the first difficulty or barrier will be at 55.45, but overall, we're going to say uh, the same outlook as yesterday. We don't see any clear uh, direction just uh, multiple attempts to break the support and resistance. The most important, 56.65 and the support of 
We also don't see any strong movements against uh, from uh, the dollar against the yen. As I mentioned now, uh, we see that uh, since yesterday the euro and the sterling didn't manage to break any major barriers and they'll, they're still trading within their major support and resistances. Uh, for the dollar against the yen, we saw another failed attempt to break the 78.80 which will stay as our pivot point for today also for the third day oh sorry this, this is the resistance level the pivot point uh, will be lower to 78.30 which is the current level it's at now but however there appears to be a strong resistance at the 78.80 level we saw four attempts uh, to break it and rise above it and none of them were successful of course the support level we saw more attempts on that there's like six attempts to break the 7805 so we're gonna say that the outlook is the same as yesterday's outlook as long as trading stays between these two levels uh, the market will stay uh, in a range state and we have to see a candle or two candle close above the support or below the resistance to know where the market will go exactly. Of course, if we look at the daily chart, we see that the previous trend was a downtrend. That ended at 78.05, which the market now is finding difficulty uh, to break and to continue to go down and achieve lower lows. And finally, the dollar against the Swiss, we see just like all the other currencies, no major levels have been broken. Of course, the major support is the lowest price for the current downtrend at 96.50. The pivot point stays at the same level as the previous two sessions at 97.40. We notice currently the price is below that level, so the outlook uh, will stay down. But we see now that the last attempt was an attempt to break the support, so we might now see a retracement and an attempt to go above the pivot point. If it's successful, then we will say the outlook will change uh, for it to continue to go up and as we can see the major level will be at 98.30 however on the 4 hour chart we can see most indicators are giving us a down signal trading is below the exponential moving average 55 and the pivot point and also uh, the MACD is below the zero level a down signal Momentum 22 is below the 100 level, another down signal. So the five signals we use to assess the trend uh, are indicating a further decline. If we compare that to the one hour chart, we see now the difference that we are starting to get up signals on the one hour chart compared to the four hour chart. We see that the trading just manages now to go from below to above the moving average and momentum indicators are just starting to uh, give us an up signal So we saw. So overall, based on uh, what we saw now, it appears that yesterday's session was a weak session and there wasn't any major movement. So the question for today will be: uh, Will it be different? Will we say will we see a break of any of the levels we mentioned? Uh, that might be a bit difficult given the lack of strong news from America. So the market might wait for another day. Uh, to take advantage of the news to break any key levels.